So there they are. They might be just a bit under 20 thou there. So I've got the points turned to the highest they'll go. I mean the crankshaft there, you can see the lobe is at its highest point. So I'm going to check the points with a 20 thou feeler gauge. It's actually pretty tight in there, so I'm going to have to open up the points a bit. So I'm just going to loosen this screw. So I've got this little screw loosened up. I expanded the points a bit. I'm going to check them again with my 20 thou feeler gauge. And I've got it open a bit too much. I'm just going to close them up a bit by pushing up like that. Then I'll tighten it up. Try my gauge again. You don't want it too loose in there, just snug, you know. So I'm going to leave it like that. The gauge is just okay in there. Sometimes you can put a bit of a bit of grease on this sponge here, just to uh, grease the lobe here. Not too much because you don't want grease getting in your points. So I hooked up my wire from the points here and I'm going to run it behind this thing, behind the fuel line and everything and then the wire will come out and just by touching the motor when it's running it's going to turn it off but uh, this can be hooked up to a switch. So I'm going to reassemble the flywheel and the whole works but I'm going to change the fuel line first and I'm pretty well done with the points here I've literally uh, just put a film of grease on the lobe like literally just the film because I don't want it to go in the points and uh, <clears throat> and that's it I'm going to shut the cover I'm going to put the cover back on that and this little clip here just kind of goes under there, just clip it, and that's it. I'll just start by getting my fuel line off. A bit of gas in there. I want to save these little clips here too. And I'm just going to pull on the fuel line like that. It's still good, but it's it's pretty old and I don't want the next guy having this engine to have a leaking fuel line right after he gets it from me. So what I've got here is some uh, Goodyear fuel emissions fuel line. And you can buy this fuel line at any auto store pretty well for half the price of what the Tecumseh fuel line costs. And it's braided, it's pretty well the same, so that's what I use. Okay, I won't put that on yet. Now these two little clips here, it can stick the fuel line under that just keeps it from hitting the flywheel. And this clip came off, so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Just gonna put this clip on to the car. If these clips are a bit loose, just shut these uh, things here a bit down and it's going to clip on better. That's where it went, like that. I'm just going to measure the old line with the new. And 
I had an inch off the tank missing there, so I'm just going to cut it just an extra bit longer. And I'm just going to leave that there for now. like that so now it's time to put the flywheel back on I'll just turn the key away so it's upwards and I'll just line up my keyway into the flywheel there we go it's nice and snug There's a little groove here on the cup and it just kind of goes in this groove on the flywheel there. It's just so that the cup has some to grip on. Got the flat washer and the nut. To tighten the nut I'm not going to put the nylon rope in the cylinder. I'm just going to do it by holding it by hand. Again it's a three-quarter inch socket that you use for that. This flywheel here is actually made of steel, not aluminum or magnesium or whatever white metal whatever you call it so it's pretty safe to hold it there that's pretty good so there we go now i'm going to mount back the the housing So there's two 7 head bolt heads bolt on the bottom of the shroud. The two top ones are half inch. 